One of Christianity's foundational teachings is the belief that the Bible is the word of God. It's something that I wholeheartedly believe. I believe that the Bible is the word of God. And one of the reasons I believe the Bible is the word of God is fulfillment of prophecy. There are prophecies made in uh, certain parts of the Bible that are very clearly fulfilled later on. We met on Sunday in church, Philip and his encounter with the Ethiopian eunuch was described in those verses. As Philip approached the chariot, he heard the eunuch reading from a prophecy in the Old Testament. And Philip was the one that God used to show that Ethiopian eunuch how that prophecy was fulfilled. I want to read to you the words of this prophecy. They're from Isaiah 53. It's a prophecy that was made about 700 years before Jesus was born. And if you know anything, anything about the circumstances of Jesus' death, I think you'll be amazed by these words because they describe in such detail, with such vividness, not only the circumstances of Jesus' death, but the purpose of Jesus' death as well. Let me just read these words and I hope they will speak for themselves. Isaiah wrote, Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. 